you've obviously had this great career and a lot of accomplishments, but you seem to also be particularly adept at being the buddy in a buddy movie. You just, I mean, so many times you've been that guy and it almost feels like you're Hollywood's go-to. We need a, you know, we need someone to play opposite. It, it's almost like you're a great musician that way. We need someone to play opposite Will Ferrell, you know, and who is that guy? And you seem to be perfect. We have this repellent star and we have to find someone who's able to get along with him enough to, <laughs> to portray his best friend. Uh, no, the truth, the truth, there's only, <coughs> yeah. It's only one best friend part I had to play where I, where I didn't quite feel like the person's best friend by the end of the project. But for the most part, I, I do, uh, this guy wants to know who. I know, I, I, I love that our cameraman went, huh? <laughs> like, no, we're not, it would be rude to ask, but who was it? Uh, I don't want to say, but I, what I was going to say is that. Good try. <laughs> is that I, you do end up becoming best friends with people in a way like, um, even in a movie that wasn't necessarily a comedy or whatever, like the, obviously Will and I are very, very close friends, but Joaquin Phoenix and I just did this movie, The Sisters Brothers, and you know, Joaquin is the, like a wild animal, you know? Yeah, it's like yeah. watching a raccoon go through the garbage on screen, you're like, what is it gonna do now? Like, right, right. So I didn't know what it was gonna be like with him and it did take us a second. It took him a second to trust me that I was just there to like, you know, do, do the best I could and I wasn't gonna judge him or whatever. And now I swear to God, I would do anything for that guy. I would yeah. take a bullet for Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah. Cause you just end up th through the fictional friendships, you end up getting so close to people. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful thing. And I, I think part of it is that I have the ability, and I've recognized this in myself, I have the ability to be either the alpha or the beta. And I can flip back and forth. And Will Ferrell is like that too, you know. Not everyone is. Often the star of movies, you know, like they're just the star. Like right, they're, they're right. the alpha guy and that's that. But I'm always able to, you know, deliver when you need me to be, uh, uh, you know, the alpha. But I can also, you know, stand back and like let the other person have the floor. And I, I think that's, that's an admirable quality in anybody. Do you, do you think, I mean, people must be asking you all the time about a Step Brothers sequel, if there's gonna be another one. Only when I leave the house. <laughs> <laughs> Only when I leave the house am I asked that question. I, I've called you at home and asked you, so that's not 100% true. <laughs> that's true, uh, phone interviews often get around to that, yeah. Yeah, it's a beloved movie. I mean, I I love it. Yeah. So much right. of that movie has stories from my own childhood in it. You know, Will and Adam and I all sat around together basically just trying to make each other laugh for weeks and weeks. And a lot of, you know, don't touch my drum set, uh, um, you know, getting, <laughs> getting beat up by a, a gang fight worth of kids. And a lot of that stuff just came right out of my life. So it felt very personal and, and I was, it felt very handmade in a way too. Yeah, yeah. The fact that Will and Adam made it. And then, you know, the surprising thing was like, like the appeal among not just younger people or like the whole family was, you know, the, all the moms were like, oh, I just wanted to grow you up. That's, that's what Will's mom said to me at the premiere party. She's like, oh, me and my friends just love this movie. We just want to grow you up. <laughs> uh, well, good luck with that. You know, like, the movie ends, we're kind of exactly where we were yes, when it started. I know. But, no progress is made. <laughs> but I don't know. Like I think, I think like like a lot of artists, uh, all three of us are kind of felt like, well, you know, unless we could, unless we were really sure that we could do a, a better version or improve on right. what it is, right? Let's leave it alone. And sequels. That's cool. Sequels are hard to pull off. Yeah, they know? are. They I can. Are. I. I mean, Aliens maybe, but Godfather Two. Godfather Two is also but, excellent. But the fact that you can list maybe. There's maybe two or three examples where the sequel was as good or better. And then there's a list of failures, like as long as the <laughs> as long as the day.